Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because it's another update to my deck of panning. Um, I'm a little late on this, but I started a bit late too, so whatever. You're supposed to do an update every 20th of the month, but it's not a, a rule. So everything, all the information, how to play this game style a uh, panning project and um well the creator is emily and max as i mentioned before um but if you haven't seen my previous videos everything is linked down below and yeah i think we'll just get into it i actually have a very exciting update because we're rolling out three pro three products <laughs> but i realized if you saw my first like my intro video I rolled the add one product prompt twice um, so I actually have seven products in my project whereas you only need to have five but the last time I like the last update I did I kept them at seven because I didn't think of that so I am gonna roll out three products technically I will only need to roll back in one but we'll see what happens like because i don't really mind having seven products in this project because i'm only doing this project and the pan those eyeshadows project pan this year so and i'm having a lot of fun with it um but anyway i feel like i forgot to say a bunch of things but <laughs> Just watch my other videos before this one. Probably everything will make more sense. So the first product we're rolling out is my e.l.f. I'm looking at my spreadsheet because I never remember the name of this. Baked Highlighter and Blush. So this is like a duo highlighter. Well, it's supposedly a highlighter and blush duo, but... This blush does not show up as a blush on my skin tone. It's very much, I use it a lot actually, but as like a highlighter. So I just like swirl everything around and I put it in the places where I would put like my blush and my highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today, but then I added, <laughs> I have like three different cheek products on today, but I do like this. I just feel like I wish it was more intense in pigment um but yeah i've used that 10 times so rolling this one out the next prompt did i say the prompt no i don't think so the prompt was baked so i chose that because it's a baked highlighter and blush so the next prompt i got was matte and i chose my benefit hula because it's a matte bronzer this we're also rolling out. I actually used this 12 times. I mean, not that you can see <laughs> much of a difference. But, um, I don't... I don't think I like this more than my Fenty Shady Biz. Is that what it's called? That's the bronzer I have in my shop, my stash. I feel like this comes off like a bit yellow on me is that possible i don't know i was watching someone else's video and they said this was a cool tone bronzer and i was like oh because it looks <laughs> really warm on me i don't know but it's also like not a deep shade so i can still make it work and actually i, I do like this brush that it comes with because some days um I just tap the brush in and I actually use it to contour my contour my nose it really just adds like a bronze effect it's not structured enough to make it contour but yeah I used it like that too and I liked it um, this is just a mini size so I could probably I don't know if I kept this in and I only use this I mean I don't know I feel like I didn't make much progress and when I say I used it 12 times like that's since I added it to this project so I've used it many times before and it still <laughs> looks barely disturbed so I don't know how that's gonna go but anyway we're rolling that out today 
Then I got the Prompt Whole Collection Roulette and it ended up being this pure Midnight Masquerade face palette but it's actually eyeshadow and face products and I mentioned in my update I actually have been having a lot of fun with this. I still am but I only used it six times so it's going to need to stay in until I reach 10 uses, so four more uses. But I do really like this. Even with my Pandos eyeshadows, I still reach into this shade, this like plummy brown for the, for like deepening the outer V and the outer crease. And I really like the highlighter and the blush. This is what I have on top of the e.l.f but also on top of the Milk um, Holographic Stick because that was in my Shot My Stash and I didn't use it one time so I forced myself to use it today but I actually really like it. Um, it's like the pink one and I was worried. I thought maybe like I could use it as a blush but it's definitely a highlighter and the like pinkness of it is quite subtle so I like to use it as a highlighter. Yeah, so that's why I have three. Like I said, I have three pro um, three different products on my face. But yeah, I find I always want to go in with this because it just adds like a nice bright pop of color. So I still haven't touched either of these though. So I might make that part of my goal in the next four uses. I have to use these two products um, and for the eyeshadows I have these two still to use so I might make that a goal to use every shade in this palette but yeah four more uses then I rolled the prompt and then roll the prompt I chose it <laughs> the A to Z shade and I got the letter W so I chose my Too Faced chocolate bar because it has the shade white chocolate and I can use that every time I do my makeup. So I am rolling this out also because I used it 10 times. There's like no <laughs> progress though, I feel. These shadows are very, like they're not very dusty. At least the mattes, they're like hard pressed. So, but I have seen people pan this entire eyeshadow palette. I don't know how they did that because I use this more than... Because even before this project, this palette was in last year's project pan. So... <laughs> and it still looks pretty new. So yeah, but I am rolling this out. I think I'm going to miss that shade though, so... I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'll just use whatever shade is in my Pandos eyeshadows palettes, which I added here if you're wondering why that looks different now. I used to have all my ABH palettes, but now it's like a mishmash of everything. Um, then I had the prompt Autumn and I rolled my Buxom Pumpkin. I didn't roll this in. I keep saying that. I chose this because the shade is pumpkin chai latte. So of course it reminds me of fall. And I actually love this. Although I haven't used it a lot lately because whenever I went anywhere was somewhere I was wearing a mask. And I didn't want to put this on and then a mask right over it. Like if I'm just going to the groceries or something. But I might wear this later today. Because um, right now I'm wearing a liquid lipstick um, from Huda Beauty in Trophy Wife. Because that was in my shot my stash also. And I really like this a lot. It looks kind of red on camera, but in person it's more like a berry. But like it has a brightness to it. So I might put this on top because it is a drying liquid lipstick. But I really like this. And... I know she just reformulated all of her liquid lipsticks, but I actually liked the original, so I don't know if the new one is just as good. Because it it does dry down, but it doesn't it doesn't feel like crusty and it's not accentuating the lines on my lips too much. Anyway, that's not even 
what this video is about, but I just thought I'd mention I'm not wearing this today because usually I'm wearing all the products in these videos. Anyway, <laughs> uh, then I got body care as a prompt, so I rolled in my stop saying rolled in. I chose my Aveda Stress Fix Body Cream because, well, I kind of cheated because this was in last year's Project Pan, so I was already working on it. I've used this eight times, so this will definitely be rolled out the next update, but look at this. There's a pan. <laughs> I mean, I did, I dug that myself because I wanted to see, like, how deep it was, and it is very deep, like... I don't know if you can see the side there. Um, yeah, so this is nowhere near being done. And I do only use this on my feet. So maybe in the summer. Well, I won't, st I won't be around by the summer. I might move on to something else. But yeah, I've only been using it on my feet. So, but I did use it eight times. So two more uses on this one. Um, and the, okay, so my last update, this is where like I didn't actually need to roll in a new product because I already had enough, but um, because I rolled out something else, I replaced it with this and I ended up getting the Joker, of course. So I chose my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. <laughs> and at first I would, this was, okay, I kind of, it was kind of random, but I chose something from my foundation category. And this was in my foundation category, but I have soon realized I don't like to wear this all over my face anymore. I think when I first used this, I was in a sample and I did use it all over my face and I really liked it, but I think my skin was probably, I don't know, more dry back then because now when I use this, I mean, my skin is still dry, but I use a lot of skincare now that I didn't use before and I wasn't consistent in before. But yeah, when I put this all over my face now, it's very like metallic. <laughs> um, but I also had a sunscreen underneath, which has like a glow in it. So it might've been that too. I don't know. But I have realized the best way to use this for me is I put it on, like after I prime, I put this on like all the highlighting points. I'm actually wearing this today but I have all those other products on top, but I put it like here and here, down the bridge of my nose, here, my chin and my forehead, but just like here and not too much. Cause I don't, I have like fine lines here. I don't want to accentuate them, but I do that. And then I, I don't blend it out. And then I put my, today was a BB cream, but I would put like my base product on and then I blend everything together. And that's like been the best way to use it for me. I hope that it made sense. <laughs> but yeah, so I did roll this in as the Joker, but now I'm kind of liking it. So, but I did only use it four times since the last update. So I still have six more uses. And I, I mean, that's not gonna make much progress on this because you actually, I only use, like I never dip back in when I use this. I just use whatever comes off on the tip here. But I do have a complaint to make about this. This product, actually I wanna see how much this is. So this product is $53 Canadian and the packaging is horrible. Like do you see all the writing is coming off? And it comes off in like flakes and it goes everywhere, like on my hands, in my drawer. Yeah, and I've seen other people's videos that are, have this in a project pen. So they use it a lot and the entire thing is off. And I'm just like, for $53, could you not make a nice packaging? 
Like, that is strange to me. But, and this is not the first time that Charlotte Tilbury packaging has disappointed me. I just feel for the price she needs to invest in, like, more quality packaging. But I do really like the product inside. But I had to mention that because it drives me nuts. Yeah, so that was everything. So, like I said, there is three products to roll out. But technically, I only need to pick one card because I'm only supposed to have five products in this whole project. So let's pick the card. I actually need to check something because <laughs> since I had the Joker last time, it reminded me I never actually checked if there was more than one Joker in this deck because you only need to have one in the deck. Oh, there was two. There was two. I played myself. So I'm just going to shuffle these. I don't know how to shuffle, so... <laughs> I'm just going to like... I don't know. I'll try and do my best here. Let me try and do this thing. I don't think it's going to work. wasn't too bad. <laughs> okay, so I have the game board pulled up and I always leave a link to it below. So I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, here we go. I just choose the top card, so King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds is oldest product. Ooh, I like that one. But I'm gonna have to think about it because I don't, I don't know right now. It's probably a lipstick, to be honest. Should we just do two more? I, I'm scared. <laughs> Cause what if I get the add another or like the Joker? Okay, let's just see. Let's just see. Ten of Hearts. Ten of Hearts is out of control category primer i actually filmed my makeup inventory this well the last like two weeks it took me forever i think i'm posting that video before this one so you will have seen how do i have 26 primers i don't i don't know <laughs> uh, it's probably gonna be primer but i know there's other things like well, if that King of Diamonds ends up being a lipstick, I would like this product to be a primer. Because what I try to do also with this project is make sure I don't have like more than one of each category. But that's going to be easy too because I use primer every time I do my makeup. Let's pick one more. <laughs> no! I knew that was going to happen. The Ace of Clubs is the add another product. And I got this twice. I mean, I didn't get the Ace of Clubs twice because all the, like the red, the hearts and the diamonds are the same. So the clubs and the spades are the same. So even if this was Ace of Spades, it would still be add another product. Okay, add another product means I have to choose two more cards. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> you know what, I think I did it wrong the first time. I think I just added another product. I'm confused. But I need three. I need three products, so... Um, I don't know. What am I doing? I have to put two. I have to choose two more. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Spades. <laughs> Add another product. Okay, what's happening now? So I have to choose now. I'm. So I'm getting really confused. 
I have to choose four more products now? I'm confused. Okay, let's do this again. Jack of Hearts. Whole Collection Roulette. Okay, I like that one. Because that's how I chose my Pure palette. And I ended up really liking it. So, okay, now I have... That would have been the three. So I have to choose two more. Because of the add one. Oh my god. What? Two of clubs. If you can even see that. Two of clubs. A gimme product. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. A gimme product is like something that's almost done anyway. So that's going to be good for me. And then the last one, hopefully. Four of diamonds. Glowy. I like that. Okay, this is fun. This is good. So I'm going to choose those products and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I chose my products. I have to say I thought this out very thoroughly <laughs> because I want to have products to roll out next time considering now I have nine products in this project. I always do this to myself, but I guess that's the fun of it too. Like. It's not very fun to have an update and not pull a new card. So I just feel like I always, <laughs> pulling new cards is always a slippery slope for me. But anyway, so the products I added. So for oldest product, I probably have lipsticks that are older than this, but I also want to have something to roll out. So I'm just going to put my Physician's Formula BB Cream in this project even though I was already trying to use it up as you can see it's almost done um, but this is definitely I'm pretty sure it's my oldest like base product in my collection I think like when I first started getting into makeup I had never worn foundation before so I wanted something that wasn't really like a foundation so that's why I bought this um, but I am actually wearing this today with the Charlotte Tilbury and I really like them together so I don't think I'll have any problem with using this and so my goal for this is to use it up if I don't like that's pretty sad I'm pretty sure it is almost done because today when I went to get the product out there was like some separation so I'm not even sure if this is like if this is full, this part, it probably isn't, so, but because of the packaging, like, I can't really tell. So, yeah, there's that. And then for out of control category, like I said, my primers, another thing that's out of control is my, well, my lip category in general, <laughs> but specifically my lip gloss but I already have the buxom so I didn't want to choose another lip gloss so I am going to go with primer and for this one I have a lot of mini primers and they are taking up like one number in my inventory so I'm trying to get all these minis out because they're taking up space and it's just getting annoying so I have this um Bosha I might hate this, but this is the Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. So I'm a little worried because I have dry skin. I don't really want a mattifying primer, but because it also says Perfecting, I feel like it might be mattifying in the sense where it like blurs the skin. So I'm going to try and use this like on my, like where my pores are pretty visible. And I also want to use this up. This is not even like a mini. This is a sample. So there's only 0.338 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters in here. So that should be doable. Because I also have another primer. 
Um, for my Gimme product, I'm adding the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because I think this is not very good anymore. I think it's like not the texture it should be, but I also love it. <laughs> so I don't know, is it supposed to be like super thick like that? It's almost like a bomb. So, but I, this is clearly something I can use up. Um, although I don't use a lot of this at once. I would say there's probably like, four more uses out of this but I think I can use these two together because I'll put this on my nose and then this like everywhere else so that's my plan then for the whole collection roulette I'll just show you so because I don't have all of my products in like one sheet I use the tiny decisions app so first I roll a number to pick the category and I got 12 which corresponds to lip liner in my app and then I rolled the wheel and got the NYX Nude Beige. So that is this lip liner here. It's pretty much brand new. Um, I'll give you a swatch. I actually think I'm really going to like this because it's like a cool tone brown. Um, I think this is the one that's pretty much a dupe for the Pat McGrath contour. At least the shade is a dupe, not necessarily the formula. But I think this will be really fun to use with my Buxom. Well, let's just look at these together. And I might even put this all over the lips. But it does feel like a bit dry, so I don't know. Yeah, that's going to look really nice. So that's the Buxom Pumpkin Chai Latte. I love that together. So yeah, I shouldn't have any problems, but I did put this one as a use goal. I want to use it 10 times because I'm not going to finish this, that's for sure. And then the last prompt was glowy. And I thought the only thing left I mean, this would have been a good product for Glowy, but it's already in this project. So the only thing left to do like a full face with these products was a setting spray. So I chose the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. If you know anything about this, it's definitely glowy. It's almost like too much. So yeah, but I am going to only try and use this 10 times because there is still a lot of product in here. Well, there's only 0.4 ounces, but I feel like I don't use this like my other sprays because it is so glowy. I only do a few spritzes. So after 10 uses, I'll see like how much progress I make. If it's a lot, then I'll just use it up, I think, because it's getting old. And this is obviously a mini size, so. So that's my update. It <laughs> took a turn, but I think this, like everything here, I'm excited to use. So I think it's going to be fun. And hopefully next time I'll have um, this rolled out because I only need to use this four more times. And probably, well, definitely this will be rolled out because I only have two more times and I love using it. So that should not be an issue and maybe the lip gloss if i end up really liking the combo i might have that done too because i still have to use this five times so we'll see how it goes but yeah that's my update for today i hope you like this video if you're doing this project let me know in the comments below and yeah i think that's it if you like this video give it a like Subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more Project Pan content because I'm doing that a lot lately and Yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye